tonight on Border Security. This passenger has an unusual reaction when officers search his bag. Yeah, what's going on? He wants to contact his wife. What they find could bust an international cartel. I think it is loaded. Coming from Colombia, there's a fair chance it's going to be coke. What's this? It doesn't smell very nice. This woman is entering the country with some extremely dangerous prohibited goods. Oh, oh my goodness. And when this frequent flyer gets caught red-handed... You didn't know what was in your bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, OK. Officers discover that what he has in his bags is part of a global racket. He is potentially bringing it in for criminal activity. Tens of thousands of people pass through our international airports every day. And identifying if any of these passengers are attempting to import narcotics is no easy task. Detector dogs, X-ray machines and swab tests are some of the tools Australian Border Force officers rely on to spot illegal activity. Today in Melbourne, an X-ray of the suitcase belonging to a 21-year-old American man arriving from Colombia is causing some alarm. He to have something concealed inside, in the base. I'm um, looking at this image. Yeah, it looks really thick. There is a layer of dense organic material beneath the lining of the case, and Officer Daniel is immediately suspicious. To me, it looks like a, a powdery substance in the base of the bag, and coming from Colombia, there's a fair chance it's going to be coke. The passenger's story about where the bag came from raises suspicions even further. The passenger also stated that he picked the bag up in, in Colombia um, when his other bag fell apart. The case will now be closely inspected, while back at the bench, the passenger has an unusual request. Your wife? Okay. He um, wants to contact his wife. He won't be making calls anytime soon. Suspecting they may be dealing with a drug courier, the man is escorted to a private room. But then officers receive some concerning information. Um, yeah, what's going on? Any associated travel? It appears the passenger may not have been travelling alone, and his companion has already gone through the gates. OK. Organic material brought into Australia by international travellers can harbour pests and diseases, so biosecurity officers are always on the lookout for any high-risk items at the border. We have a um, passenger coming from China and she hasn't declared on her incoming passenger card. Although declaring she has nothing in her luggage, officers are suspicious. On the screen, it shows items scattered in the bag. So it's very important for us to have a look, especially this one, because I'm concerned there might be fresh items as well. Failing to declare food items is a serious offence and can result in prosecution or a fine. Is this your signature on this card? Yeah. OK. You packed your own bag, so you are aware of the contents of the bags? Are you aware? Yeah. Does everything belong to you that's in the bags? Yeah. So you know what's in your bags? Yeah, my mum. It's a cat. Uh, but yeah, you've just yeah. answered that you know what's in your own bags? Yeah. OK. Do you have anything to declare? The passenger seems to become unsure about her non-declaration, and that raises officers' suspicion. Yeah, no? No? All right. I need you to open the bags for me. Officer Andrea begins a bag search. Ginger. Yeah. OK. And immediately finds something that could pose a serious threat. Oh! Oh, my goodness. At 
Brisbane Airport, Border Force officers have pulled aside a young man arriving off a flight from China. I'm just going to ask you a few questions before we start. Is this your card? Yeah. Did you read the card? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You did? And did you understand all of the questions? Mm, I know. Yep. Do you want to pass me your jacket and the wallet, please? The man is travelling alone and says he has nothing to declare, but a full baggage search will be carried out. Okay. Unlock this one, please. Is that... Oh, oh. There is a ziplock on his suitcase that has to be cut so Officer Georgia can inspect the contents. Initially, nothing appears untoward. But further examination reveals what this passenger is really doing here. While inspecting the luggage of a passenger arriving from Shanghai, Border Force officers have discovered his suitcase is full of illegally imported cigarettes. Okay, you need to listen to me very carefully. I need you to listen to what I'm going to say. Okay. I'm going to caution okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to caution you that you do not have to say or do anything, but anything that you do say or do may be used in evidence. Do you understand? No. Understand. Not understand. Okay. Officers now use an interpreter to assist with the interview and caution the passenger again. The passenger did talk to me in English a little bit at the beginning of the exam, but as the exam went on, he wasn't answering any questions in English and was unable to follow any instructions in English as well. With the passenger cautioned, officers continue the investigation and discover that the entire case is full of cigarettes. And it's not just the evaded tax that is concerning officers. They are sure this is headed for Australia's lucrative black market. People are bringing in cheap, buying them for five bucks, 10 bucks a carton, um, and then selling them here for up to 150, 200 a carton. Wondering if the passenger has brought anything other than cigarettes with him, Officer Georgia turns her attention to his second suitcase. Well, as soon as I opened the bag, they actually fell out onto the floor and all over, so just cigarettes. The man has made a number of trips to Australia in recent months, and officers suspect this is not the first time he has brought cigarettes with him. You didn't know what was in your bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, OK. A passenger who has just returned from China had claimed she had nothing to declare. Is this your signature on this card? Yeah. OK. However, initial scans of her luggage raised concerns for the biosecurity team. Especially this one, because I'm concerned there might be fresh items as well. And Officer Andrea soon has her doubts confirmed. Ginger. Yeah. Oh, OK. Oh! Yeah, fresh fruit. That's oh. all. Oh, my goodness. It's a fruit shop. Fresh fruits are a biosecurity threat to Australian agriculture and must be declared on entry. But it's this fruit's appearance that is more troubling for Andrea. Look how diseased these oranges are. Very diseased. She suspects the condition could be citrus canker, a serious bacterial disease with the potential to devastate Australia's multi-million dollar citrus industry. We'll be sending some of these off today to um, our plant pathologists so we can get to see if they've actually got citrus canker on them or not, or some sort of a disease. This is oh. OK, it's 8.15 now. And you've been verbally warned and questions asked. With the passenger already looking likely to receive a fine, Officer Andrea continues the search for any more undeclared goods. Oh, my goodness. What's this? Oh, just, yeah. oh, just this, just that. And the pile just gets bigger. What is this? It's a sweet potato. Sweet potato. Yeah. It doesn't smell very nice. Yeah. And bigger. Some nuts. Cakes, tea, seaweed. Okay, you have some dates, but the seeds have been taken out. 
taken out, which is good. You have so much food. Oh, yeah. And you hadn't declared any of it. How often do you travel to China? How many times a year? This one, two, yeah. As she's been an Australian resident for 17 years, Officer Andrea suspects this passenger knows more than she's letting on. The fact that she was able to answer the questions and the card is in her own language gives me a good indication that she knows what she's doing today. Why didn't she declare? What's her excuse? None. And she she's travelled before? And she's a, yeah, she's an Australian resident. As the high-risk items stack up, this woman may now be facing very serious consequences. You have too much food here. You've got no, you actually got no clothes. All you've got is pieces of fabric and food and food and food. This American citizen has arrived from Colombia and following an x-ray of his suitcase, Border Force officers suspect there is a concealment of narcotics in the base. I think it is loaded. Again, coming from Colombia, there's a fair chance it's going to be coke. The man has been cautioned in a private interview room. But before testing can begin on the case, officers turn their attention to a female passenger who has been brought back to the bench after officers located her in the baggage hall. Intelligence indicates she may be travelling with the young man. Both passengers have travelled from Colombia. They have the same surname and their travel movements are almost identical. Officers will now carry out a full bag search to determine if this woman also has a concealment in her luggage. Three children. Three children? And why did they not travel with you on your holiday? No, 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 no holiday because my mum very sick in this oh, okay. moment. So and was I... that sudden or have you known for a long time? Not just for um, the disease, for a long time. Yeah. Just I visited my mum for one month. Do you want to put these back in your wallet? While the female passenger is questioned, inside the interview room, a swab is taken from the lining of the male passenger's suitcase. The test will reveal if there are any traces of illicit substances. Biosecurity officers have found a mountain of food items after this passenger claimed she had nothing to declare. This lady's got no clothes, Steph. Look at it, it's just all food. And the main concern is her load of diseased fruit. I found some fresh oranges today and that's a really big concern for us because we're concerned about the disease of citrus canker, which could affect our citrus industry, and also fruit fly. She's also got some uh, guavas and some compots that um, they'll be seizing here today. Yeah, they're not the best looking oranges I've seen. It's something I, I don't think I'd like to be eating. And that doesn't look the best either. So um, we'll have a lot to send away today and see what the results come back as. The passenger will now learn her fate. All right. All this food that you have today, a lot of this food is allowed to come into the country. You're allowed to bring it in. However, you didn't declare it on your card. You've said no, no, no. You have so much food, you have fresh produce, okay? You live in Australia, so you should know better, okay? So today, you're going to be fined $360 for giving us false and misleading information, and you have a lot amount of food here. She then confirms Andrea's suspicions. The, the, OK, so you know about the seeds. So you know that dates without seeds can't be brought into the country. So why didn't you declare it? You're correct in saying that. You can have them. But the fine will stand today. So she said to me, can I keep the dates? Uh, a very good indication to me that she knows to how to bring these dates into the country without an import permit. So, yeah, she's probably done this before. With the food confiscated and the fine paid, the passenger can re-enter Australia only now with her bags significantly lighter.
in Melbourne, Vodafone officers are investigating a female and a male passenger as they have concerns that at least one of them is carrying narcotics. An X-ray of the man's case revealed dense organic material in the base, but the results of a swab test taken from the lining were unexpected. We have to get in the bag. It's come back negative. Um, hopefully, it's just because it's been cleaned down really well and there's no contamination anywhere. So we're going to take the drill into the room now. Uh, we're going to make a little hole and see what the substance is, see whether it is actually something prohibited or not. Once inside the room, officers drill through the lining and into the base of the suitcase. They locate a substance and extract a sample and immediately take it to the examination room for testing. As you can see, they it's, it's like a very thick sort of wet paste. Narcotics are usually in a powder form, but officers are confident that this well-concealed paste is an illicit substance. It was in the very bottom of the bag, sealed in plastic. First Defender laser technology should give a highly accurate reading of what the substance is. All right, let's see if it comes up. And while the test is conducted, outside the woman's suitcase is x-rayed to check for any possible concealments. That appears to be clear. It's good news for the female passenger, but the male passenger may not be so lucky. It's uh, come up positive for cocaine hydrochloride. With this confirmation, Officer Daniel takes the next step. Now I've contacted the Australian Federal Police and they'll come and have a chat to the, the traveller and, and take over the investigation. But the investigation into the female passenger is not over yet. No, no, just leave these out. Oh. Yeah. The pasty white substance found in the man's suitcase is highly unusual. And Officer Nesta notices this woman has a bottle of liquid that appears to be very similar. Border Force officers in Brisbane are counting the thousands of cigarettes illegally imported by this Chinese national. He claims he didn't know they were in there, but intelligence indicates it's not the first time he's done it. This passenger has been linked to previous import through Melbourne import. Same email address, same address they were heading to. Anyone carrying more than 25 cigarettes into Australia is required to declare them and pay the duty. But at final count, this passenger is carrying 40,000 sticks. So there is quite an amount of duty that he is trying to evade. It's a huge $30,000 in evaded duty. But while the cigarettes will be seized, the passenger will now be further questioned to assess his visa. He is potentially bringing it in for criminal activity. So he's going, he's trying to evade paying tax and then he's going to on-sell them or give them to someone else to on-sell, which therefore becomes a criminal activity. So that's why he's of interest today. Border Force officers have confirmed that the gel-like substance in a 21-year-old American man's suitcase is a narcotic. It's uh, come up positive for cocaine hydrochloride. While they wait for the Australian Federal Police to arrive, officers also have concerns about some bottles of liquid his suspected travelling companion has carried. The concealment, it wasn't a powder, the cocaine. It was like a gel, liquid, liquidy paste substance. So when we found some bottles, we just have to assess them a bit further, make sure the, the substance inside wasn't a risk at all. The liquid in the bottles is tested, and after a thorough investigation into the female passenger, Border Force officers are satisfied she is not carrying any narcotics. Yeah, the bottles were fine. Yeah, the passenger was free to go. The Australian Federal Police arrive, and the woman is free to leave. Officers are now sure she is not connected to the male passenger. It appeared that it was just a couple of coincidences with the travel companion, um, same surname, same check-in port, um, and really close 
timing together. Um, but since then we've cleared her and spoken to her family here, so she doesn't seem to be a risk. The male passenger's suitcase containing the cocaine is seized and he is taken into custody by the Australian Federal Police.